20 years old, two kids, no job. Movie could have easily been, you know what I'm saying? Get a job, nigga. Like, what the f are you doing? You ain't a thug. To Roger, I'm going to say this. I'm going to say this. The character, it wasn't you personally, but damn it, the character, I thought the girl was kind of off a little bit. I thought, I thought Yvette was kind of off. She f***ing left the baby there for, for Tyree's character, Joey, to pick up. I'm like, yo, like you were that late to work? You forgot your goddamn kid? You don't leave your f***ing kid with this convict and his game bagging ass friends. I don't f***ing believe that. Yo, what up, y'all? This is Comedian Ronnie Ray, and this is off my chest, man. This is where I point the camera at myself, and I just go to town on whatever's bothering me a little bit. It's normally nothing serious, but it's minor shit, but it's major shit to me. It's major. I was watching um, the Tubi the other day, the Tubi, the Tubi. And I like Tubi. Tubi gives you a free movie and shit on Tubi. I like Tubi. And they had um, Baby Boy on there. Let me watch Baby Boy, man. I have history with Baby Boy. Y'all don't know, I moved to L.A. in 2000, and... This girl um, I was talking to worked on the set, so she had me go down, and I, I met John Singleton, and everybody was there, and the dude that the beauty shop kept offering me cookies and shit. I <laughs> talk about $40, that dude kept offering me cookies and shit. I kept holding on to the girl I was with, like, yeah, get this dude away from me. But hey, I was there. The movie came out. I made sure I went and saw it, and I was like, yo, I was thoroughly impressed. I thought it was good. After seeing all the behind the scenes footage, the day I was there to watch the dailies was the day Snoop Dogg they shot all his scenes and he like you need to quit bullshitting with yourself. That they kept playing that over and over. And I laughed. I thought they got a bigger response in the theaters, but it didn't. We all was laughing doing the dailies. But I'm watching this movie the other day and I'm like, yeah, woohoo, man! After 20 years of see, I'm like, okay, y'all, all right. I'm watching it like, okay, I don't fucking believe this. Shit. Some of the stuff I didn't believe. Great movie, but like it's some stuff that was hard to believe in that mug. Like Jody, Jody, um, 20 years old, two kids, no job. Movie could have easily been, you know what I'm saying? Get a job, nigga. Like, what the fuck are you doing? You ain't a thug. You ain't a thug. Pee Wee was, the, your homeboy Peanut was the thug. Why, why are you, what, you wasn't selling drugs, nothing? What, 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 what are you doing? Get a job, man. It's okay. You could have just got a job. You could have got something. And then he got two kids. I mean, like in California, um, I'm from Illinois, and um, yeah, child support will come for your ass, Jody. What the fuck are you doing? You boost the goddamn clothes from goddamn uh, the, the, the the fashion district in Los Angeles, and that's how you made money. It was okay for you to do that. Come on, man. Like, damn. Like this motherfucker. Like, really? Like he had two women, two badass women, two peanut. Peanut was bad with the girl peanut, and and then um, Yvette with the Taraji character. Oh my god. Beautiful ass baby mamas. His mama was fine and shit. What did she do? She just sat in the crib in in, in the backyard making uh, doing the, the garden and shit. But hell, AJ Johnson, sexy as hell. And they do look like they were related, and that's what he was aiming for. So yo, Jody, could have got a job. Child pulled out your ass, it would have been no movie though. It would have been no movie without the conflict. So I understand, John Singleton. I understand. You needed that in there. Then you had. Well, like I said, Taraji P. Henson, yeah, damn it, played Yvette. This is a, this is this is the role that black people start to know who she was. Great actress, love me some Taraji P. Henson. But in this movie, though, I'm like, come on, man, she fine as hell. She got a job and shit, got her own place. Why are you sweating this dude so hard? Taraji can have nothing to do. God damn it, Jody had your ass spooked. God damn it, come on. He was laying on you apparently, cause um, you wasn't going nowhere. You making tacos and shit. Yo ass is in that bitch. But yo. Taraji, I'm gonna say this. I'm gonna say this. The character, it wasn't you personally, but damn it, the character. I thought the girl was kind of off a little bit. I thought I thought Yvette was kind of off. Um, my main my main problem when uh, Snoop Dogg popped up, um, how was he able to stay at your house? How was he able to stay at your house? Like really? Like um, you don't have a talk with the probation officer. He didn't like you call me enough. That's why. Ain't no way in hell. No, nah, nigga, go. You gotta go. He's at the house, right? He's at the house. She's scared. Get this nigga out. Like, call the cops. Like, yo, I don't want this motherfucker here. Call police. This motherfucker living in your house with your kid. I don't believe that shit. I just don't buy it. Then he threatened the kid. It's your little four homie. And kicked it and shit. <laughs> and the little boy like, I hate you. Hate you too, little nigga. And he put on the big ass motherfucking white beef shirt. And tried to rape her and shit. And you still let the motherfucker stay there. Matter of fact, before that shit happened. No, was it after that shit? It was before that shit happened. She fucking left. 
the baby there for, for fucking Jody, to, Tyrese character, Jody to pick up. I'm like, yo, what the fuck is that? Like, you were that late to work? You forgot your goddamn kid? You don't leave your fucking kid with this convict and his fucking game banging ass friends. I don't fucking believe that shit. I know they had to have a face off, you know what I'm saying? But goddamn it, John, rest in peace, John Singleton, you should have spent a little more time in the rice room with that shit. Because I'm like, yo, ain't no way in fucking hell you leave this fucking kid with this guy that you know your baby daddy's coming to pick up. Pick up the kid and you know that guy don't get along with your, your baby, his dad. Ain't no way in fucking hell. You are not that late to work. Take the day off. Stay in a hotel. Something. Drop him off at your mother's house. Take him to the neighbor's house. Something. He cannot stay there with those niggas. And that's right. I said niggas. Overall, <laughs> I love the movie. <laughs> it's my boy Mars Sims. Favorite movie ever. And, hey, I can watch it, but I'm like, you, you start paying attention to shit like, come on, man. Come on. I just don't. I don't, believe, I don't buy it, dog. And then in the end, what happened? He got her pregnant. And you ain't seen it? So fucking what? I don't care. You watch this video. Go watch the fucking movie. Hood classic. In the end, he got her pregnant again. She didn't marry this shit. This motherfucker ain't in school. They ain't show shit. This motherfucker still still in clothes at the fashion district in Los Angeles. And he shouldn't have been mad at Melvin. And making breakfast butt naked. Like, yeah, that was a little off. But God damn it. Your mom had a life too, bro. You're a grown man. The fuck out your mama's house. Make a life, bro. That's it. I think I'm done on Baby Boy. I might watch it again, though. Just to... <laughs> <laughs> what you think, people? You think Baby Boy was too much? Should I take it easy on him? John Singleton, one of the GOAT filmmakers ever. First film, Boys in the Hood. Oscar-nominated director, man. But this movie, <laughs> I just uh, <laughs> I had to go in. You... Yeah. <laughs> God bless y'all, man. Off my chest, Baby Boy. I'm good now.